We're back at it talking about generative AI. It's uh, always going to be a continuous discussion because artificial intelligence, uh, at least what we have now, is a piece of tech that's really being put into question by almost everyone in the entertainment industry, whether developing video games, writing stories for shows and movies. There is a very complex situation happening right now with many entertainment companies who are kind of weighing the odds. Do we want to use generative AI? Should we not use generative AI? But all we know is that this culture is growing. It's becoming a bigger deal than we thought. But just as much as this culture is growing, there's also an anti-culture coming to coming coming from the depth and that is there are stances. There are companies out there that will take a stance on AI and say, nope, it's not going to be acceptable. It's not going to be something we're going to utilize at all. And Dark Horse Comics, a world-renowned um, graphic novel and manga publisher, has clearly reiterated its rejection of AI-generated material. The statement emphasized Dark Horse's founding principles of fostering an ideal publishing environment for creative professionals, for creative human work, and its ongoing commitment to supporting independent creators. They stated that Dark Horse does not support the use of AI-generated material in the work that they will publish. The response for Dark Horse's uh, stance has been overwhelmingly positive, and I, I do see where they're coming from. Um, I do praise them for this initiative because it helps protect, it helps support many of the comic book creators out there. It helps preserve human creativity, which at the moment feels like it's at risk because of generative AI. And many artists out there feel that same way. They feel that if you are going to utilize generative AI, and bear in mind, this is not like a, I feel like I might be generalizing here, but there are artists who will feel strongly against the use of generative AI in a creative piece of work because it feels like you're skipping all of the hard work that it requires to get to that point. And if you stand on that sort of mindset, I completely respect it. It's fine. But I think generative AI is still going to be here to stay. There's definitely going to be uh, almost like a two separate distinctive um, platforms here and principles. Those who are going to embrace generative AI and their creative process and those who will not those who will adhere to purely human creativity and human creativity alone without the use of generative AI. And it's nice to see a, a, a publishing house as big and as renowned as Dark Horse Comics take a stance on this. It's, it shows that they are very adamant about what kind of product they want to put out there and what, what group of people they want to support. Because generative AI can feel like it, it could be disruptive or perhaps not the most, uh, not, not the most well-received form of output that, will, uh, that, would, that could come out in the market. There is definitely still a lot of stigma behind generative AI. And especially if you're going to publish a comic series and you are utilizing generative AI it might not sit well with the hardcore readers out there that don't believe in, you know, artificially, artificially made work instead of one, you know, one that is developed from an actual artist and has nuances and, and complexities and depth that only a true artist can instill instead of something as stagnant or as surface level as a generative AI could possibly provide. So honestly, kudos to Dark Horse Comics. Perhaps other major publishers out there might adhere to this and preserving that human creativity that we all know and love. 
And with that, guys, it's time to wrap it up here on Evening Buzz. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you guys on the next one every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday from 8 till 9 p.m., keeping you guys busy and entertained all throughout the week and shift, only here on Pulse95. This is Mikhail Atia signing out. Have a good one. If you liked this episode of The Evening Buzz, drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories. Pulse95.